Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Troy from stridewise.com and despite the fact that in New York City here it is about mm, eight or nine million degrees outside, we are talking about waxed jackets. Not only waxed jackets, we are talking about relaxing your waxed jackets. So despite the fact that it's the middle of the summer, falls right around the corner and before you know it, you're gonna be reaching into the closet for that heritage wear, for that heavy waxed cotton or twill jacket that you got. And if you're anything like me, at the end of the season last year, you put that jacket away and you realize, I probably should have waxed this thing because it no longer keeps water out or snow or the elements in general. Well, that's the case, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to walk through it today. So stay tuned. All right, so to help us with learning how to re-wax a jacket today, we have none other than the Tensaw jacket from Tom Beckby. Now this is a jacket that should be pretty familiar to most of our viewers as Nick did a really thorough review on it a little while back. I'm sure there will likely be a link to that review in the description or somewhere around here. You'll be able to check that out. But in short, if you're not familiar with it, Tom Beckby makes some really fantastic outdoor uh, clothing and gloves and different kinds of outdoor goods and wear. Um, you know, if you're hiking or hunting or doing any kind of those activities, Tom Beckby makes a lot of really fantastic stuff for that, specifically this jacket. So, in addition to the jacket, I have some reproofing wax from Tom Beckby as well. So, I'll take you through how to kind of actually use this stuff and what you're going to be using it for. Other tools you're going to need um, some hot water, a bowl obviously, a sponge or paper towels, whatever you have around, an old rag, whatever you don't really care about, um, and for good measure, a heat gun. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, not the end of the world, you can use a hair dryer. It's just going to probably be a little bit more tricky and take a little longer. Either way, those are the basic tools that we're gonna be using today, and let's get into it. All right, so the first question, right, is when do you need to rewax your jacket, right? Do you need to wait for it to be absolutely bone dry before you think that you should reapply or should you kind of do it as needed? The short answer is it's kind of personal preference, right? Personally, I think that anytime you're wearing that jacket and it's starting to rain, you're starting to get some of that moisture coming through the fabric and the material, probably reapply some wax at that point. You know, there really isn't necessarily a time where you're going to you know, re-wax it too early. If you go to re-wax it and it's still waxy, then you don't really need to do that particular spot, right? So, with a jacket like this, like we actually noticed that there's some, some pretty good wax in the middle here in the chest, but if you look in the sleeves and the elbows and under the arms, you know, at the bottom of the jacket, right? These are the areas that are gonna be the highest sort of spots of wear. That's where the wax is gonna wear away first, right? So those are the areas that we're mostly gonna focus on and kind of even the whole thing out, right? So, with that in mind, there's two primary styles of wax that you can use to re-wax a jacket. The first is what we have here today, which is a can of wax. Now, what you're gonna do with this is put it into a bowl of water or hit it with a heat gun. Uh, the second type of wax comes in more of a bar, and you use that in sort of more of a, a, a crayon kind of way, right? Like you, you rub it onto the jacket and it puts a little bit of wax onto the jacket. You go over that with a hair dryer or a heat gun, being very careful, and melt it in that way. This way, I think, gives you a little bit more of a, of a thorough approach, right? Like we can really get into those nooks and crannies and make sure the wax is everywhere we want it to be, even though it is a little bit more labor intensive. So first things first, what we wanna do is pop open that can of wax. And as you will see, it is uh, not liquid, right? But the slow way to do this is to pour boiling water around the can and let it melt. Now this is gonna take a little while, so you can kind of leave this here for a little while. Being very careful, of course, not to burn yourself. Once it's uh, nice and liquid, then we're gonna go in with the sponge. And being very careful to not get hot wax all over your hand because that would not be very much fun. Take a little bit, and again, you're gonna start with a small amount, you can always add more, and just start to blend that in. Now 
Once you're noticing that that wax is kind of nice and distributed, you see this nice even kind of like wet sheen over it, right? Reapply and continue. What happens if you do put too much on, right? So say you get a little bit too much wax on and you got a big old, big old glob that looks all crappy and terrible like that, right? What do you do? Well, if you can spread it out, great. Again, this is wax. It's going to have some viscosity to it, so you can kind of blend it over. But if it gets too thick and you end up with a really big clump, either hit it with a little bit of warm air to just kind of remelt that really quickly. And again, you're going to be very careful if you're using a heat gun, so I recommend using one of the lower settings. But you can kind of just give it a little bit of heat just to loosen up that wax and then blend it through. So you can already see how this is starting to really kind of even out the color, right? And it's got a little bit of this kind of wet quality to it. But by comparison, we compare it to the other sleeve here already, you can see how much more even and uniform this looks versus this kind of beat up, you know, dusty kind of look where the wax is worn away. you have an area on the jacket that's moving and getting a lot of friction, that's where the wax is going to wear away first, right? So those are those areas you really want to focus on. On to the front. Now, this is just how I work, but everybody can do it differently, but I like to be methodical, right? So I'm going to start at the bottom and kind of work my way up evenly one side and then the other side. Don't be too intimidated by the process is really the takeaway here. Don't be too intimidated. Just go methodically, go slowly, go evenly. And you can already see, look, as we're approaching the top of the jacket, really look at the difference here. This is nice and uniform and dark, and this will lighten up a little bit as the wax really continues to set and dry over the next couple hours. But you can already see the difference, how uniform and clean this looks versus how kind of like scratched up and worn and, and almost dusty it looks on this side. Another question that a lot of uh, that a lot of folks will ask, and we touched on it a little bit at the beginning, but is, you know, how long does the wax last? How frequently do you need to wax your jacket, right? And the truth of the matter is, is it all comes down to how much you use your jacket, how rough you are on it. You know, if you're wearing this thing day in, day out, you're working hard in it and, and you're beating it up and it's getting a lot of abrasion, you're probably going to need to re-wax your jacket more frequently, maybe even once a season, right? Um, but if you only wear it occasionally, you wear it to, you know, it, it's, it's fall, you're in you know, you're, you're going to an apple picking orchard or something like that, you're gonna get some cute photos and then you're gonna go home, put it back in the, in the closet, you're not gonna need to re-wax your jacket very frequently, if ever, right? Um, so the, the wax won't just deteriorate on its own, it's really about how much you use it, how exposed it is to rain and snow and all these sorts of things, and how much it wears away, will dictate how often you need to, uh, you need to reapply. Yeah, the further I get in this, guys, the more that I'm realizing, you know, going through in these small areas, applying the wax, and then immediately hitting it with that heat gun again to kind of soak it in, and then you can immediately dab up any excess you have, that's the move. That really is the move, and that way you don't need to go back over later on. Um, it just ends up making it look really clean and uniform and nice. Want to make sure you really get all of those seams. Make sure that those are really nice and waxy. If those are nice and sealed, you're not gonna get the water coming in and ruining your afternoon. 
And see, already, because I didn't apply a huge amount to this area, there's not much in the way of excess that needs to be blotted. It all pretty much just soaks right in. So again, less is more. Less is more with this wax. You can always apply more if you need to, but you probably won't need to. Look at that, look how good that looks. Come on now. I gotta tell you, you get the hang of it pretty easily. Don't be intimidated. This is this is a very doable process. It's, you know, I'm sure each company will probably offer some service for, for rewaxing, especially the bigger ones, but I, I gotta say, I don't think you need, uh, I don't think you need to. If that's the only thing you need done to your jacket, get a heat gun, get, get a can of wax, and, uh, you know, make a little afternoon of it, throw on a good movie, have a beer. And as always, just as a reiteration here, be careful with the heat gun. These do get crazy hot and it is very easy to burn yourself if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. So take your time. Maybe don't have too many beers during the process. You know, always drink responsibly, folks. Look at how much even more, more even and uniform that looks. Come on. All right, so that about does it. So after all that, um, what we're left with is a really pretty evenly waxed jacket. Now it does still look a little wet and it kind of feels a little, you know, a little bit uh, almost damp um, to the touch. This is gonna continue to dry. So, you know, if you're doing this at home, I would, uh, I would hang the jacket up and leave it you know, in somewhere, you know, cool and dry overnight. If it's nice weather out, leave it on your porch, you know, whatever, or just, um, you know, hang it on a, a shower rod or something like that. You know, at this point, wax is still probably gonna come off of the jacket, so I wouldn't put it like back into the closet or something like that near other, uh, other pieces of clothing because you can get those other clothing um, items, you know, a little waxy. It's kind of like when the thing is brand new, you know, a lot of wax jackets when they're brand spanking new will, will have a little bit of wax that come off of them, so. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty, I gotta say, I'm pretty satisfied with how this came out, you know? Um, if you're intimidated by the process of waxing a jacket or, or by that prospect, um, I gotta tell you, don't be intimidated, you know? Just, just get yourself the right tools. Um, you know, the heat gun is, is indispensable. Um, you can get them online, very, very handy. Um, the hot water was totally useless don't even bother with it. You're just, it just makes a mess. And, um, you know, the, the wax starts to resolidify shortly thereafter anyway. So it's, it's just a waste of time. You know, I suppose you could do this with a really strong hair dryer. I think it would be a little irritating and probably be a little more difficult. So, you know, if it's in the budget, get the heat gun, do it that way. Set yourself aside a few hours to just kind of hang out and, and go through it. And, and it, it's, it's a pretty satisfying process. I gotta be honest. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this, how this came out, you know, take a look, see here. And I gotta say it, the, the wax, oddly enough, uh, it smells really good. It kind of smells like a, like a holiday market. You know what I mean? Like that kind of, you know, pine and floral stuff. I don't know. It's good stuff. So, you know, I have to say, if you're just doing the one jacket, you know, one of their smaller tins, I think these are like five bucks, something like that, will probably get the job done. You know, if it's me, I would just get the big can and uh, and then just be done and have it forever for whatever else you need. But uh, yeah, man, pretty, uh, pretty good. You know, anyway, what do you guys think? Have you waxed your jackets before yourselves? Do you send it out? Have you never messed with it? Have you been intimidated? If you have other tips and tricks that could have made this easier on me or on your fellow Stridewise viewers, uh, leave it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more heritage menswear and, uh, and waxed jackets and boots and stuff like that as we move into the fall. We'll see you later.